Hi, Chris. I'm Jocelyn from Los 40 Chile. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm fine too, thanks. Well, let's get started immediately. Um, from what we see in the Spiderhead trailer, Steve is a character to be feared, isn't he? Um, what do you like most about your character? Um, I love the opportunity to play a character that was very different to myself, very different to anything I'd played before. He's a, he's a dangerous individual, as you say. He, he uh, has a huge amount of ego, very highly intelligent, very powerful, um, but coupled with a real lack of social etiquette and, and lack of empathy and a twisted sense of humor. Um, so, you know, to, to do something so dramatically different to what I'd done before was a joy. You know, I'd done a lot of science fiction, fantasy driven action films, which I love. Um, but this was something very unique for me. It was fun. Yes. Um, are any songs or books that helped you build your character? Um, no, not really. I, I, you know, we, we talked about a lot of, you know, tech entrepreneurs and Silicon Valley types. Um, but, but then coupled with a lot of different individuals that we'd either met or seen through history. And so no one, not one specific person necessarily. Um, it, it was just, you know, being influenced by wild individuals that we felt fit, fit this space. Um, And that, that's what's fun, you know, we had the freedom to create something new and, and, and something exciting and, and it was sort of boundless as far as what this character could and couldn't do. It, there was an un, unpredictable nature to it, which I think for an audience makes it far more suspenseful. You're not sure which way they're going to turn or what they're going to do next. And, and that, was the, that was the goal. Uh -huh. uh, what do you like the most about the storyline of Spiderhead? Um, I love the, the, the questions it poses, the, the morality around what takes place within the film and within this, this state of the art penitentiary with the film set, you know, a lot of discussions about free will and, and whether we are better left up to our own devices or do we need um, outside forces to intervene to save us from ourselves. I thought it was a really um, relevant discussion and a very interesting one to, to set in this space. Uh, the last question, um, this film has a lot to do with science and technological advances. Is there anything that scares you about technology? Yeah, I mean, it's probably the same thing that scares everybody. Every science fiction film we've ever seen about artificial intelligence and so on, becoming smarter than we are and, and you know, realizing that maybe they don't need humans around anymore, <laughs> you know. Um, I mean, just the sort of exponential growth of technology and the fact that it is fast outgrowing our ability, our ability to even understand it um, is something we should all be concerned with. Um, the fact that we are on our phones constantly and, and we have so many points of distraction and places that pull our focus and things that we probably shouldn't be focused on or things we don't need to know about, which are robbing us of our ability to just be in the present moment. Um, so, short answer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. <laughs>